Welcome back to Lord Fussington's walkthrough of the critically acclaimed game Demon's Souls. I'm your walkthrough master, Lord Fussington, and this is the Fool's Idol of Tower of Latria 3-1, who will see momentarily. It's not her, that's that's just that's a window. Um, there she is. That's the Fool's Idol. The Fool being uh, one of the prisoners who is doing this incantation. Um, who I hope you killed, because if you didn't kill him, gotta go kill him, or every time you kill her, he'll uh, uh, bring her back to life. So, um, or revive her, or whatever. Okay. Now first you want to kill these guys here. Also, there are several ways to kill her. It's not, she's not very complicated, to be honest. Um, range, as usual, works best. So, um, although you do need to have aim, which I obviously don't have. Um, right, so you could just shoot her in the face or in the knee, whatever. Um, you know, if you want to shoot her in the knee, go ahead. You know, there's been plenty of people shot in the knee, mostly guards. And, um,. Yeah, you can kill her rather quickly doing that. Okay, so she puts these things on the ground, as you just saw, which um, will stun you a little bit. So, as you can see where she puts them, memorize the air, memorize it, or do your best, and uh, don't walk in that, that area. Okay, so you know who... So now she's, she's split, right? So now there's several um, versions of her. Okay, how to tell which one's the real one. If they're shooting little, sp like little spells, means it's not her. When you see a massive spell flying at you, it's her. That's her, okay? Um, that's sort of how I tell anyway. Now again, you could just hide behind columns and use spells or arrows. Um, if you're gonna go the melee route, just make sure you know where the um, where those uh, sort of things on the ground are. Those marks. Also, also, it's it looks like uh, if you lock on, yeah, if you lock on, you can see a health bar. The ones with the health bars are not the real ones I think we'll test out this theory if I actually see her again which I'm pretty sure I do because I do kill her okay so we just saw um, I'm gonna get hit in the face aren't I okay so that's her over there Well, I'm not even locking onto her, so... But I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I'm right about this. Anyway, she dies pretty quickly. I mean, the only diff... She's not even that diff... She does good damage, but... Yeah, you'll, you'll kill her in no time, I'm sure. Uh, with any kind of strategy you decide to use. You can also just shoot them a couple of times, like the, the fake ones, to get rid of them. And, um making it easier to kill her but I don't even recommend that you can just find her and um, and lay into her without having to worry about her her uh, other um, her decoys essentially well they're a bit more than decoys because they actually attack but you know her copies So that's obviously not a real one, because you can see the health. Yeah, that's an amazing dodge. Probably the best one I've ever done. And that's it. Uh, very easy. You know, I didn't even do particularly well there at all 
Um, but it doesn't really matter because she's a pushover. All right, so grab the items. Uh, there's ba there's a baby's nail in this room, uh, which is is fairly important depending on what sort of build you're going and if you're planning on PvPing. I don't even know if people still PvP a lot in Demon Souls, but yeah, it's 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 good. The baby's nail is is a good weapon to have, or well, you I think you need it for the achievements. Uh, I think I don't quite remember now. It's been a long time. Okay, so the way to do that is to not look at the altar. It's near the altar. Don't look at the altar. Just go like this, right? And just make sure you're never looking at the altar. You can sort of face it, right? But as long as you're you're you don't see the altar yourself, you're fine. So, and now as soon as I walk towards it, boom. It's really that simple, and it's a good item to have uh, in your arsenal. So, yeah, that's the baby's nail. So, um, here are the gargoyles. I thought they did a great job in this scene. Because it looks like angels, right, initially? And then you see how their wings are torn apart and they're grotesque and all that. Just fantastic. Okay, so this is the next area, of course. Um, not as long, not as tedious as 3-1. Um, there are some good items here as well. The boss is obviously the man-eater, uh, who is absolutely dreadful, in my opinion. Now, he's, he can be difficult, depending on what sort of build you're using depending on whether or not you can fight two enemies at once, depending on whether or not you get to the center area in time. But we'll talk more about it when um, when I actually have to uh, fight the Man-Eater. But right now, grab Excalibur and head back to the Nexus. Yeah, and uh, you want to, if you're worried about White World Tendency and Black World Tendency, uh, or particularly White World Tendency, you want to commit suicide here in the Nexus, so it doesn't affect your world tendency because there isn't a world tendency in the Nexus. So just jump from over here. Ah! Right, and I died. That's Sage Freck, the visionary, who we've saved. I've been Lord Fussington. The next video will be part one of Tower of Latria 3-2. We'll eventually meet the man eater. Um, thank you very much for watching. Kindly rate, comment, and subscribe.